Okay, on um, Code.org Course F 2019, uh, Lesson 3, Alien Dance Party with Sprite Lab. And the very first um, activity, all you do is look at uh, the code that's on the screen. When you think you know it'll happen based on what's on the code, you will just type it into the box here. After you type it into the box, you'll hit run to see if what you typed happens or not. And then after you are done, you can go ahead and hit finished. I've already completed this puzzle, so it won't let me kind of really do it again. But after you've um, done it, go ahead and hit finished. It'll take you to puzzle number two. Puzzle number two is actually a video, so you should watch the video. It will help immensely. Um, when you're done watching the video, it's really short. Go ahead and hit continue. It'll take you to activity number three. Okay, and lesson in uh, activity number three. It says the Elliot was proud of his dancing skills on Mars, but now it can only move side to side. Replace the behavior block in this piece of code to a different one that'll make the alien start spinning. So if you look down here, your alien's code has him patrolling, which is back to forth. So we want to take that out and replace that behavior with a different one. So we'll just pick growing. And it says when the blue alien is clicked. So we'll run our program. We'll click our blue alien. He's growing like we like we coded. And good to go. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's what happens if you don't read the instructions. Uh, choose one that'll make the alien start spinning. I pick growing. So go ahead and go to spinning. I don't think left or right really matters. Um, and activity number four, it says create a new sprite that looks like this pink alien. Make it do any move that you want to do when it's clicked. So when you're coding in code.org, the win run, or in any coding, run means what you want to happen at the beginning of the level. So at the beginning of the level, we want to have a brand new pink alien. So we'll go to our sprites, we'll pick brand new, and we'll put it there. And there's our alien. Uh, if we want to move our alien around, you can click this little spoon or kind of... I don't know, icon, and you can place your alien kind of wherever you want to put them. Okay, and it says make it do any move you want when it's clicked. Try using a new move this time. So you want to make it basically look like this behavior over here. So you'll go to behaviors, and you can say sprite begins. In this green piece of code, and is an event that means when you have to do something to make something happen in your program. So in this case, we have to click to make something happen. So we'll go ahead and change this to our pink alien and to our pink alien. And it wants it to do a new move this time. So we'll just pick anything other than the spinning left. We'll pick jittering. We'll run our program. We'll click our aliens. And they are click and they're spinning and they're jittering just like we programmed. Okay, our instructions on um, puzzle number five say create a third sprite that looks like a yellow alien. Make it begin a dance move when clicked. Set all your aliens in a horizontal line like so. Okay, so we're just going to do the same thing we did in the last puzzle. We'll go to our sprites. We'll make a brand new sprite. And I'm going to actually move this stuff out of my way so I can see. These events do not have to be clicked to attach to anything because they're their own kind of uh, piece of new code, I guess. So we want to change this pink alien to yellow and we want to move him in a horizontal line. So we'll go ahead and click our little spoon. We'll place our alien there. And then the last thing, begin a dance move when clicked. So we will have to go to our behaviors and our events. And we'll say when the 
yellow alien is clicked we want the yellow alien to move east so we'll run our program click our aliens jittering spinning moving east good to go All right, so um, it has everything from our last puzzle. Our instructions for number six say, let's try a different kind of event. Create a single key event using when up is pressed. So it basically means when we hit up, something's gonna happen. So I'll go to my events and I'll grab my up. For this event, make it so that each of your aliens, so make it so that when a key is pressed, each of your aliens changes color. Choose any key that you like, but you're using a different touch screen that we recommend up down left or right so um, I'm gonna need three of these for my three aliens so I'm gonna do one for up I'm gonna do one alien down and then I'll do one alien left so that basically means when I click up down and left my aliens are going to do whatever I tell them to do in this case we need them to change color so we'll go to actions change color of and we'll grab three of these for our three different aliens and then I'll change one to yellow change one to pink and I have my three aliens and they all should turn red when I click my key so I'll click left up down good okay number seven since these aliens are running raw, let's calm them down by ringing a bell. Make a new sprite that looks like a bell. So I'll go to my sprites. I'll grab make a new sprite. Okay, on number seven, it says aliens are running wild. Let's calm them down by ringing a bell. First, add a new sprite that looks like a bell. So I'll go into my sprites, I'll grab make a new, and I'll put my bell right there. Okay, then add an event that makes each alien stop dancing when the bell is ring. Use this. So I'm gonna go into my events, and I'm gonna say when I click the bell, so I'm gonna change this to a bell, I want my aliens to stop everything. So I'm going to grab three of these pieces of code for each one of my aliens. So I'll go under stops everything, under behaviors, grab three for each of my aliens. I'll turn one to pink, one to yellow, then I'll run the program. Everybody's doing what they want to. I click the bell. They stopped and we're good to go. Okay, on lesson number eight. For the pink alien, fun is contagious. Touching it makes anyone want to dance. Use the when blue touches pink to make the blue alien begin a new dance move when the pink touches it. So first we need to make sure the pink is touching it. Um, my screen has it on patrolling, so he's going to be going left and right, so he's going to definitely touch the blue alien. So I'm going to uh, behaviors, sorry, events. When blue touches pink, I want behaviors. I want blue to begin a new dance move. So instead of jittering, go to behaviors and I'll pick um, shrinking. So now when I run the program, when pink touches blue, he should shrink and that worked. Okay, number nine is just a free play. They want you to make your own alien disco. 
Um, so completely up to you. Just go in here and make uh, whatever you want to do. Grab some of these new events, some of these new behaviors. Uh, one thing is cool. You can go in here and change the world the background uh, from galaxy, city, grass to all different kind of things. So on number nine, all you do is play around and enjoy the level. Okay.